Hi, I'm David Sheeler. I'm pastor of St. Andrew Church in Tampa, Florida. And I've been thinking for some time it might be kind of fun to just post up a short video every week of what I'm thinking about, what I'm talking about for uh, the coming Sunday's uh, worship service and um, just share some initial thoughts about that. So I'm giving it a shot. I know the trick, of course, is going to be to do this every week. So uh, if you would, just let me know what you think about this. But um, on Sunday, I'm looking at Mark's Gospel, the fourth chapter, starting with the 26th verse. And in that time, in that passage, Mark says, tells us that Jesus spoke to the crowds uh, only in parables. And that can seem kind of strange that, uh, that he only told parables, in essence, only told stories. And they were simple stories, um, just simple stories about life uh, as he knew it uh, at that time but all the time making comparisons or wanting the, his listeners to make comparisons between that and, and what God was doing, what God was about. So he told in this passage particularly two stories, uh, one, both of them really kind of farming uh, images. The first one, just simply talking about how a farmer takes a, a seed, he puts it in the ground, um, and then just sort of leaves it there, doesn't know what happens to it in the ground, but after a while, it begins to, to sprout up and uh, to produ produce something that the farmer harvests. And the, says the farmer doesn't know, you know how that happens or what really happens underground, but uh, the farmer is still able to, to enjoy uh, the, the produce, enjoy the, the harvest that comes out of that, that something big comes out of something small. And then he tells a second story kind of similar to that about um, how you can take a, a mustard seed, which is a really tiny seed. In fact, it's the, the smallest of seeds. Uh, almost invisible, really. Um, and you can put that in the ground and actually have a pretty big bush sprout up from, uh, from that. Now, again, it's interesting that he tells stories uh, all the time, and we wonder maybe why he would, would do that and not just be a little bit more direct and tell us, don't do this, do do that. Um, and Jesus did some of that. But stories, I think, can be powerful, uh, really, really powerful ran across this quote from uh, Peter Guber, who's the CEO at Miramax uh, Films this week. He said, what if is more powerful than how to? What if is more powerful than how to? And I think, you know, we can be that way a lot of times. We can be told how to do something, but stories instead can open us up to different possibilities um, and different things uh, in our lives. So it makes me wonder about, uh, about our stories and stories that each of us have um, about our own lives, and particular stories that we've had of times and ways that God has shown up uh, in our lives. And granted, I know a lot of times we think those things are just small things, maybe insignificant things, um, and maybe not even worth telling, but, but there are times and again when, when I hear people's stories uh, about their experience of God in their lives, experience of, of things that are, that are holy or spiritual, um, that really are pretty, uh, pretty amazing. So that's what I want to leave you with. And just asking, what's your story? Uh, when and how has God, God shown up in, uh, in your life? Uh, and how can you tell that story to other people? Thanks.